it's Saturday again, so it's time for the Saturday wrap. My look back on the past week uh, about lots of things and tech and beer and politics and I suppose health. I haven't got a beer. There is a reason for that. Um, I had some leave this week, Thursday and Friday to be precise. I drank a lot of beer. Well, not a great deal, to be perfectly honest. And I'll have a beer or two later on this afternoon. But the good news is, on Thursday, I went through 3,800 unique beers. Which, quite late on, was my New Year's resolution. My New Year's resolution for next year is 4,000. So I better get on with it. Um, although I can start from now, which is a quite a good thing. Anyway, so looking back on week ending Saturday the 11th of December 2021. Okay, let's have a look. What have we got as the word of the week? Plan B. I know we're in Wales and we don't have a plan B. And that nice Mr. Drakeford says, here in Wales, Labour already had those things in place. But plan B. And word is... There's possibly a plan C coming along. There are, in the week ahead, going to be a lot of politics. There was a lot of politics this week. Um, let's cut it down to, can you trust your elective representatives? They are not our leaders. We vote them in. They are there to represent us. Sometimes I think they forget that. But what can you do? The app of the week, well, Apple had their um, Apps of the Year award and Luma Fusion. If you're ever going to do any video editing, either on an iPhone or an iPad or even an M1 Mac, Luma Fusion. I think it's about 30 quid nowadays, but nothing touches it. Really nothing touches it, to be perfectly honest. Go out and get it for Christmas. I recommend it. Uh, especially if you've got an A15 processor. It goes. It really does go. So that's my app of the week. I've probably mentioned that uh, before, probably about 15 times. But it, Christmas. Right. A thing of the week. Public transport. Uh, and when I look back on the week, my overwhelming thought was I was on a bus coming home yesterday from Pontypri to Caerphilly. Uh, the bus was, I have no idea, according to the app, the bus was supposed to be coming in 20 minutes time, but it arrived early for its, uh, um, so it was either very late or very early, which has happened before. And as we were going through just before Hawthorne, the driver flew past a bus stop where there were people waiting. And I saw this guy's face and the look of horror, disappointment, and abject coldness, because it was pretty cold last night on his face. And I thought to myself, this is Stagecoach. They are subsidized by taxpayers. They can't get their act together. However, speaking of act together, um, owned by taxpayers in Wales, TFW Rail. <laughs> not enough trains and not enough social distancing and masks and times on the new app is poor. In fact, everything is poor about them. If you want people out of their cars, which are quite safe in terms of COVID, and onto public transport, you're going to have to do things a lot better than you're doing at the moment. Public transport, it really isn't for the public. It's for practically anyone apart from the public. Which is a shame. Because I like public transport. I like trains. When you're having a Sherbet or two, you need good public transport. We haven't got good public transport. We haven't got integrated public transport. Miss One Connection, you're really in trouble. You really are. Anyway, front over. So uh, what happened last week then? Uh, 
early on Saturday up to Tesco's and spent all my last year's club card points on various bits and pieces for Christmas. I don't know if that's the true spirit of Christmas, but it tends to what hap what happens nowadays with me. It's like, oh, there you go, whatever. I was looking for a crown, but they didn't have a crown, so I had a frozen joint, which you can cook directly from frozen. To be perfectly honest, I like my turkey, but I like it nice and easy. I don't like doing all the, oh, I haven't got any ooh, foil or this, and uh, is it defrosted? And No, make it nice and easy for myself. I know it might not have the supreme taste of a fresh bird, but it's a lot easier. And I'm getting old and grumpy. Anyway, moving on. I'd had two texts from, I don't know who it was, probably an Iron Ben Health Board, saying, we have a booking for you to have your booster job. I'd already had a letter. Um, I think they just wanted to make sure I would show up. It was on a Sunday. It was in Newport. Yeah, so I had to jump on the bus. Well, I didn't really have to jump on the bus, but if you're going to Newport on a Sunday, you might as well take advantage of the facilities. So it was Costa Coffee uh, into the leisure centre. Hello, bang, straight in the arm and out. Moderna. So mRNA. Uh, okay, side effects. In the past, both um, AstraZeneca, sore arm for about a day. With this, sore arm for about four or five days. And on the Monday, sort of felt a bit out of sorts. Not fluey or anything, but oh, I could go home and go to sleep sort of thing. Um, but I stayed in work and it all seems to have gone now. I hesitate to call it the booster because it's a third. And I fear this week there's going to be fourth and fifth. Um, they've already bought the stuff. Yeah, we're going to have to learn to live with it. There are mutations all around Omicron. I'm looking at you. Although I think we only have 13 cases in Wales at the moment. Uh, Scotland are way out ahead of us. Hmm, here in Wales. Anyway, um... While I was there, Rumney Brewery have a new pub. Uh, it's on Commercial Street, which used to be the main street, but now it's like dying. Um, next to the Nationwide Building Society, it's a sports bar. It has fibre to the cabinet speeds, well, half speeds on the Wi-Fi. Lots of tables, couple of booths, some Cascale or Rumney Brewery stuff. The lagers, uh, I think Heineken and whatever friendly enough clean enough 49 screens i was watching the italian football it's not bad and it was open at 11 o'clock so um worked for me um tiny rebel after that they still haven't got the fridge back and they only have a couple of ales on but they do have guest ales so things aren't back to normal there and i probably reckon that they don't want to be caught out with large orders which the way things are going at the moment, because we are now on to weekly reviews. I'll come back to that later. They're a bit nervous of, and I don't blame them. <sighs> right, um, there's a hat on the moon. Well, they think there's a hat on the moon. It sort of looks like there's a hat on the moon. There's a Chinese lunar rover wandering around up there, and it seen a hat on the moon. And since the report, we haven't heard anything else. Um, I suspect it isn't a hut on the moon, but wouldn't it be great if it was? That would be a Christmas miracle. That's science, by the way. Um, a storm barra. It did get blowy. Um, and it got a bit wet. Uh, um, and I'm fed up of storms. Uh, but it was cooler because, uh, you know, all that sort of stuff. Yeah, go away weather. Um, why can't we have our Christmas in the middle of summer like the Australians do? Probably because we're in the Northern Hemisphere, but uh, whatever. Um, 
Oh, talking of Christmas, there are certain things that mean Christmas to me. One is the mouth and foot artists' uh, cards arriving, which I've been sending out. Uh, the second is the radio and TV buyer's guide gets sent. That is probably the true spirit of Christmas. <laughs> Things that you recognise from Christmas. Not that the radio bit changes a lot, but it's mainly there for the tech. Uh, dab 2 and all that sort of business. And TVs. Um, I'm thinking of a 4K TV. Maybe next year. Just need to keep my hand in, etc. Anyway, um, order them online. They should be sure any time now. Because the post is... Post is coming quite well. Um, I ordered my Christmas present. I collected my Christmas present. The Apple Store, they were having problems with their internal IT and payment systems. Was it anything to do with AWS East US? No, because it was a couple of days after. But it's, sometimes it's nice to know that Everyone gets that sort of thing. And a big company like Apple are not immune. Hats off to the young lady who did all the work with me. She was really nice. And a Merry Christmas to you. I'm setting it up tomorrow. That's probably going to take most of the day due to the fact of 14 trillion pictures of pump clips. And the odd one of these as well. In 4K. <laughs> I bought some mince pies. I took them into work. Mince pies are Christmas. I also did a tub of miniature heroes, which gets smaller and smaller every day. I think it was only three quid in Tesco's. I'm having the tub when they finish. There are going to be spring onions in it in 2022. There, I've said it. Next year, already have plans. Oh, and maybe a tally as well. I'm not sure. Um, right, uh, Boris, if you have a party in 10 Downing Street, you'd know about it. You don't need an investigation. That's kicking the can down the road. And if you don't know about it, what are you doing in there? Really? I don't think time is long for him to be perfectly honest. And then here in Wales, the Stereophonics and Tom Jones next weekend cancelled. Mind you, none of the guidance had changed at that stage. So, um, under the same guidance as 70,000 watching the rugby, the obvious thing. Here in Wales, he was tipped the wink. He was told things are changing. Uh, yeah, well, you know. Um, so then in came plan B. Fax passes and things, which... Given the parties and that, uh, looks like there might be a rebellion when there's a vote next week. Next Tuesday, I believe it is, on it. Um, should be one law for all of us. And a lot of people don't like fax passes. Um, and there is no science behind them. I don't mind if we are following the science, but where is the science? <sighs> anyway, and then there was a baby. Uh, which for a minute or two took everyone's minds off plan B and such like. Yeah, no. How did that happen then? Will there be an internal investigation? Sarcasm. Oh, yeah. Um, Bubs. Thursday in Bubs. Which is closing. Uh, I did have a chat with them saying, is there going to be a, like a new location? Could you move somewhere else? And they sort of said they're working on it, but it didn't seem positive. I do hope they can find somewhere else, especially that's in the centre of town. But um, going to miss them. Um, great people, great beers, great Wi-Fi. And they let me in early as well, because it was cold outside. And then it started to rain, because Christmas. Hmm. <laughs> 3,800 unique beers. Works for me. And then Friday, Friday, uh, yeah. Well, actually Thursday night into Friday, guidance. Masks are now being requested in pubs and restaurants if you're not sitting down and eating. But it's only guidance. 
I don't know if that's going to make any difference, but then next Friday and the Friday after before Christmas, updates. It was said this week, Guido Fawkes, by the way, I kind of like Guido. Um, the, uh, Mr. Gove and the Scottish lady and the Welsh guy, they all got together and the Welsh guy said, I want a lockdown between Christmas and the New Year. And I think Mr. Gove said to him, you go ahead, there's no money for you. Uh, so that ended that. But obviously, given the ranting that we've already had, he wants to lock us down because here in Wales, etc. P.S. was also in Tesco's first thing this morning and Costa Coffee because while you still can, Monday and Tuesday off, so there will be reports from the pubs and the public transport. Anyway, um, Merry Christmas, everybody. Uh, right, WordPress, YouTube, Twitter, MeWe, Facebook, comments, etc. I don't want to say stay safe, but yeah, stay safe and take care and prost because Germans do Christmas much better. <laughs>